Welcome everyone to another farm tutorial with Galadia. Uh, today we are going to be building a pumpkin and melon farm. You can do this as all pumpkins or all melons if you want. Uh, and if you do, you obviously don't need the separator in the middle of the farm. Or two chests. You can do this with just one path of water and melons and pumpkins on both sides. Uh, but this is a pretty simple concept. We just have some melons or pumpkins that are being observed and the signal is getting pushed into some pistons which are harvesting it, dropping it into some water. It's getting collected by hoppers and being pushed into these chests here. So I think that's about all that needs to be said about this other than you can build it either as long or as tall as you want in order to get just all of the pumpkins and melons you could ever dream of. But enough about that, let's get to building. So to start building this farm, we're gonna need a few materials. Uh, you're definitely gonna need some melon or pumpkin seeds or a combination of the two, depending on how you wanna do this. Uh, you're also gonna need some water and a hoe, and I would recommend some bone meal, but that's not a necessity. And then you're gonna need either torches or lanterns to light this up with. And then for the actual farm itself, uh, you're going to need observers and pistons and repeaters and redstone. Quantities are very much dependent on how big you feel like building this farm. And then you're going to need some sort of solid block. I'm going to be using glass and smooth stone, uh, but any type of solid block will work. And you're going to need some sort of slab as well. Uh, and then you're going to need dirt blocks to be able to plant your melons on. And then you're going to need some chests and a couple hoppers. Again, quantities on those are pretty small, but depends on a little bit on how you want to build this. So with that being said, to get started, uh, the first thing... I, I'm going to build this as just one unit and I'll explain how to tile it afterwards. So again, going with my slightly overcomplicated style, uh, I'm gonna put a double chest there and another double chest there. And these are each going to get two hoppers into the backs of them. So it should be like that. Then it's time to grab some blocks, and we're just going to put a few in like that. Then, uh, starting right past this block, I'm going to put eight more blocks in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to come one more to make nine. And then I'm just going to fill all the rest of this in with blocks. Okay, so now that we have that little platform in place, uh, if you want to make this, you can make this as long or as tall as you want. If you want to keep making it longer, uh, at this ninth one, come up a block and then come back another eight. And then, so you'll have a total of nine, and if you want to take it up another row, you can just keep going like that. Be sure to do it in chunks of uh, eight blocks and then one as a back wall. But I'm not going to be building this like that for simplicity, uh, but if you want to, that's how you add that in. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glass and I'm going to come around and put one row of glass on top of this. And this glass is also going to be in the center. So kind of doing an outline with the path in the center, I guess. And a block of glass on top of each of those two end hoppers. Then it is time to grab some dirt. So on each of the sides, not where it connects, but we're just gonna put some dirt in like this. And that should be our nice little growing platforms. So that's where our melons are actually gonna get planted. 
And then the rest of this needs one more row of glass. Okay, so now that we have our farm like this, uh, what we're going to want to do is come two in with blocks, then one out, then over, then back in. And we're going to continue with this pretty much leaving every other space open. And we're going to do that on both sides. Okay, then up on top, uh, if you just kind of look down through your holes, uh, you can put a little piece of another solid block in there. This is going to hold water in place. So we'll put that in, and then we're going to grab our slabs, and out of the back of each of these blocks, we're going to put a top slab in. And again, doing that on both sides. So it should look like this. Then what we are going to do is grab our water is probably a best next step. So in each of these little holes, we're going to put a bucket of water. And in this little chambers down on the bottom, opposite of the hoppers, uh, we are going to put a, one bucket of water in each end. It should flow right to the hopper, but not actually into it that allow for just perfect item collection in this farm. Then, since we have that done, I, I personally prefer to do this now. You can do it at whatever step you want, but I'm just gonna hoe up all of my ground because uh, melons even though they can grow on non-fertile ground, you technically don't need the water. Everything grows better on fertile ground, and it grows faster, so I'm using uh, tilled soil instead. So on one side of this farm, I'm going to be putting pumpkin seeds just in front of each of the spots of water, and on the other side, I'm going to be putting melon seeds. So that'll give me a happy combination of both pumpkins and melons out of this farm. Okay, so now that we have that done, it is time to start with the fun components. So redstones, pistons, and observers, here we come. So at the back of, or opposite of your little planted thing on each of these little holes of water, you are going to want to put a repeater facing away from the water. And you're going to want to change that to three ticks. If you don't set this at three ticks, it will still work, but I, every time your pistons go off, they're going to try firing multiple times, and I've found the collection actually doesn't work quite as well that way, so this three ticks matters apparently quite a bit. So then turn around, face the other direction, and beside each of these repeaters, put another repeater going the opposite way. These you do not need to set any delay on. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to grab the observers, and into the back of each of our little plants, I'm going to plop an observer down. So it should be nicely keeping an eye on those little sprouts. And then again, coming back over to the other side and just repeating the process. Okay, so we got our observers in place. It's time for some pistons. So beside each observer and each of these little empty spots, I'm going to be putting a piston in. Okay, so we've got our pistons in place. Gonna grab this redstone dust, and behind each of these repeaters, I'm just gonna put a line of redstone in the back. And again, another line of redstone in the back on this side. Then I feel like this farm needs some light. So on, at the end of each of the rows of pistons, I'm just going to plop a torch down. I, I found that's a pretty happy spot and works great if you're tiling this farm. Uh, then I'm going to grab my glass back out, 
and come up one more row on the glass. This will stop any of my melons from jumping out of the farm. And then this is the point where I would personally recommend bone meal. As I said, you don't need it, you can just wait. But if you want, you can just get all your plants nice and fully grown. And as you see, every time these change spots, the pistons go off. So that should harvest any melons that grew. Okay, so that is... That wraps up pretty much how to make this. Uh, I'm gonna show this just because I want to. What you can do now is if on top of one of your plants you put a block of dirt and keep coming down, you can rebuild this farm right on top of itself just kind of like this. And if you notice, got the nice little spot for water, everything is exactly the same from that point on. So that is how you stack this farm if you want to stack it. And as I'd mentioned before, you can make it longer. Just be sure that in between every section, like I'd mentioned, uh, you are, say you were continuing this on and it had actually gone up, uh, you would still want this glass line and that lantern in, so be sure to leave that every time. I'll show you on a bigger farm in a sec here. But so the last thing to do to finish this farm off is we want to cover these areas with glass so that we have no things jumping out. So this is a complete one pod version of it. Uh, all pumpkins are going to be floated down into this and all melons are going to be floated down into this one. Now if you want to make this farm bigger, this is a fantastic example of how to go about that. As you notice, it stacks just absolutely beautifully. And this is what I was talking about with the just continuing going up with the water. Uh, you can make this farm as long as you want and get some amazing results out of it. And the other difference I've done with this farm is I've actually turned it into an emerald farm. So this is my collection area. Uh, everything comes into these hoppers and gets pushed into these chests. And I've got a little bed in the middle so I can nap. And then I've got four farmer villagers, each with their own composter and bed. So I can just come in here anytime I want. I made sure all my farmers sell both pumpkins and melons. If not, kill them and get a new one. You need them to sell both pumpkins and melons. And then you can just come in here and trade with these farmers and it is a never-ending supply of emeralds that will allow you to buy anything from villagers you could possibly ever dream of. And it is also an infinite supply of golden carrots if you like using those for food. But I think that probably about wraps up this video. I hope everyone found this useful. Uh, if you did, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I wish you the best in Minecraft, build something cool, and I will see you next time.